Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries, where we are building an Atlas today. And I also want to repair some of my other mechs. The thing is, uh, I started the recording and then I realized I didn't hit the record button, but you didn't miss out on a lot. What I did is I was going to my barracks and I was changing my pilots a little bit so that they are now streamlined and all of them have the uh, classic mech commander voices and uh, names. So we have... Copy that, sir. Firestorm. We got Hunter, Burnout, Blaze, yes, Mantis, and Gator. Gator. And then we also got Goblin, which was one of those weird pilots that I want to keep. So, uh, anyway, this is what I did, and I started the repairs on my other mechs, uh, except for the Shadowhawk, because that thing is too expensive to repair in a, uh, in a conflict zone, and I don't want to go to an industrial hub yet. We will gather some money and then we go building the Atlas. That is the plan for today. It's a miracle, by the way, that the Shadowhawk is not falling apart. Look at this. The structural damage is massive and it's running an XL engine, so it should have been destroyed. But miraculously, it survived. Uh, anyway, that's besides the point right now. We just came to another planet. Uh, I started in Tanya Australis and I was going to Denae's. Denae? Uh, to go for the raid and defense mission here and then of course cantina and then and, and black market and stuff so nothing too much that was missed just a bit of you know early um early uh, recording uh maintenance here we're gonna collect some jump jets i can do that the output is quite low but why not and we can certainly kill harasses for a tier 4 narc lrm 20 stream plus Artemis is 4 tier 4 it's a pretty good one, actually. Mm, mm, maybe later. Maybe later. The black market tells us that there is uh, tier 0 weapons. Heavy knuckles tier 4. That's the only thing that's interesting here. Knuckles are very low weight. But I think I'm ha I'm pretty happy with my trench blades. Absolutely. Uh, and the weapons are just garbage. Anything else? Ammo. We got a double bin of AMS ammo, and I think I want to get some more AMSs going for me. Yeah, why not? Why not put some more AMS on the max? I think uh, anti-missile systems are super, super handy, and uh, we will put more into our max. There's an active probe, the first beagle that we see, I think. One and a half tons for a 25% sensor increase, and a no line of sight sensor range in a 360 degree radius for 450 meters. So you basically can spot enemies around you even if you don't look at them. You just have to look at the minimap. And it reduces the ECM distortion by 85%. That's a nice item. But I don't want to invest on our one and a half tons right now, I think. Except... Ooh, interesting. Okay, let me think about it. Would it be good on my Atlas build, on my future Atlas build, that wants to utilize LRMs quite a lot? Yes, it would be good. It would be certainly an, a good thing to have. The sensor range boost means that we can target our enemies early on. Yes, we'll take a beagle. I will buy that. We also get engine cores, gauss ammo, rifle ammo, the jump jets that we are supposed to pick up. They're actually quite cheap and I want to get this done. We will be refunded by items and money and reputation, so that's cool. Uh, and right now, where we are, I don't want to pick any jump jets. I want to pick mech parts because we are going for the big mech uh, hunting today. Chemical laser ammo, don't need it. Long term, uh-huh. It's very expensive. But I don't have a long term, so why would I take it? Uh, narc, sensor, improve. Another 100 meters range bonus. I'm going to buy one for the Atlas, sure. Sniper ammo, single heat sinks, SRM Artemis. Superchargers, targeting computer ballistic, huh? Negative 20% spread, 20% more spread distance modifier, and projectile speed modifier, 10%. I think this is really good if you run some ultra auto cannons or so, which I think have a spread attached to them. It seems good. Uh, we have projectile predictive. This thing is extremely expensive. Ballistic spread radius modifier, negative 20, nice. Ballistic speed, 25%, nice. PPC projectile. 25%. Nice. And it says predictive ballistic targeting. What the hell does that mean? Does it mean it auto it's like auto-aim? Wait, 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 wait. Um, know, predicts projectile trajectory and drop of the actual selected ballistic weapon and selected enemy unit movement for pinpoint accuracy while in combat by drawing a crosshair on the heart at the optimal aim location. <gasps> Oh my god! I want that! Yoink! I'm gonna take that! 
Thank you very much. Holy crap, Aroni. That is insane. Ooh, I just realized. Uh, we have a bunch of double bins here. Do we have LRM double bins? Because they are extremely efficient. Yes, we have... Holy crap, Artemis double bin. 500,000 Seabills for a single unit. Uh, but we're gonna buy some of these double bins. Uh, we got four of them? Is that enough for a single Atlas? We might find some others later. We have literally 73,000 Seabills in our coffers now. That is not a lot. Uh, but anyway, this is gonna be amazing. I'm just gonna take this battle computer. The Banshee, huh? Yeah. The problem is all of these guys are currently in repair. And I am uh, mm, running out of am um, stuff. We'll never run this. I'm gonna sell the grasshopper. So we have a little bit of little bit of goodies here. Same is true for the quick draw. I might might run a rifleman, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. I mean we got some awesome parts. We got an Atlas, we have a Banshee. I think we are gunning for the big boys, huh? Would we run this? No. Okay. Stock up on money again. Good to know. Good to see. Now, I want to try to take this ballistic battle computer. That means we're gonna use the time... Actually... Wait, 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 wait. The Atlas is currently not in repair. Should we do something here in a conflict zone? Probably not. But, um... I want to put the targeting computer missile and the sensor improved into this mech. That shouldn't take too long. Yeah, 22 days. Okay. Timeline. Banshee... 45, man. But we want to get the Banshee on the battlefield anyway, right? That means we can fiddle around with the Atlas a little bit more. It's currently a stock build under Tonnage. Sure. How do we squeeze in a Beagle? We even squeeze in a Beagle. First thing off an Atlas, by the way. Get that head armor online. That needs to be maxed out. Also center torso, and we can drop this down to, I think, 75. That was the number, right? That's the magic number? Yeah. We get a full ton out of that now. And uh, with a build like this, this mech is horribly, horribly undercooled. So we're gonna change some things. I think we're gonna run it mostly stock anyway. Um, but... Those ammo bins need to go into the legs. LRM as well. Oof, oof. Doesn't look right. And I think we can afford dropping the singles and... Get some doubles in here. Get another double in here. Yeah, this will help. This will definitely help. But again, eventually I want to make this uh, uh, an LRM only build. Right now, I don't want to invest too much time. That's a freaking 58 days. Holy shit. Oh, oh too much rebuilding. I know. Ah, screw it. It's gonna be worth it, guys. It's gonna be so worth it. Now... That being said, let's go ahead and play a mission, shall we? I think we are fine playing a defense, and I want to get all of these things. Oh, yeah. So, this is going to be my Atlas. You have so much missile proficiency that you should really take the Atlas, huh? huh okay, let's go. It might be that we are losing the Phoenix Arc because of it, because we also have a lot of evasion and shielding on Burnout, but you know what? Burnout is the perfect Atlas carrier. And, uh, yeah, the evasion here is decent, I would say. Go ahead, ready up, 51 days. Or 58, actually. We pay another 500,000. At this point, I would say it would have been maybe more efficient going to an industrial hub and getting everything done there. But, uh, here we go. Let's just play and have some fun, huh? Contract is to garrison the facility at Nav Alpha against any hostiles that move against us. Yep. It's only us out here. Um, so let's move quickly to establish you know what? a defensive perimeter. I'm gonna switch to the Atlas. I want to check this out. Target location. Let's go. Too soon. We certainly need a chain fire Soul group for this missile stuff. And everything They're else is... Yeah, it's pretty fine. Um... <laughs> These are my weapon groups here. Okay, I think we are fine. So, let's see what we can do. We got those missile weapons. And some of them are long range. Yep. Got a charge up with short bursts, small lasers. 
It's We'd just such a joke, man. Charger is garbage. Cool thing is also, we got an auto cannon 5. That means we can shoot at range. We are already up there. Hmm. I really feel like I need to go with this vision. Hey, Charger, stop it. Huh? I see you. Uh, come out to play, buddy. Oh, 87 and dropping. Hey, stop that. Cooling is fine-ish. Yeah, come at me, bro. Cooling is fine-ish and... I'm instantly shooting my, my medium lasers, which are not the most efficient weapons for a brawl. But hey, let's go in again. Shoot those missiles. Keep the charger from... Uh, Destroying the base! There's a guy. Coming down? Yeah. Okay. And... Ch chain fire. Take him. There we go. The other one is coming down as well. Oh, that's too much! I was trying to chain fire, but then I was a bit too overzealous. I'm getting shot with PPCs, by the way. Not cool, buddy. Okay, the ballistic is cold enough to get ourselves sustained. Uh, and as predicted, the Phoenix Hawk already took a good chunk of damage. It's just crazy. LRM stream has 900 meters. I'm just a bit closer, Rifleman. I just want to get attention. Oh, there they are. Okay. Uh, there's a flyer right over here, and there is the waifu man. It's not optimal right now. It's really not optimal. The enemies are closing in very, very fast. And we got their attention, and there's a rifle man. Okay, I'm gonna send in the, the, the friends. I'm gonna try to hit the blackjack a bunch. Also, dropship right behind us. See, that's the thing. Our atlas is extremely slow. In order to get those... Uh, in order to get those uh, SRMs online. Ah, jumped. Uh, we gotta get close. Mm. Getting close is an issue right now. Come on! Okay, didn't want to invest too much heat on him. Yeah, 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 there's lots of stuff happening. E Thunderbolt. Oh, no, what? Oh, that's the... Yeah. I was on the wrong button. Can we hit his face a bunch? Oh, we can. Got him. Oh, this is such a cool build, actually. I like the SRM burst. Although you cannot really see a lot here. You can see that the enemies are falling, huh? Very good. We have the rifleman under control on the other side of the battlefield. Phoenix Arc, again, is taking a good chunk of damage. So, there we go. We are halfway through. That's not a lot. So, half of the enemies are down, but there is still so much happening here. And there's a drop right in the middle of the base. I'm gonna defend that directly. Absolutely. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, they have a stalker. Holy crap. Guys, can you please follow me up on the high ground? I'm just gonna use my atlas as the meat shield. Uh, metal shield, whatever. Hey, stalks! Get out of here. I'm gonna try to destroy that side torso before anything else. Yeah. That's fine. Ah! Okay. Shut him down. Uh, shut me down, but also shut him down, basically. Atlas brawl! Hmm. Waiting. Oh, there we go. How much ammo do we even have? 600 shots left. I need to chain fire. Okay, got him. It was a big tank over here, right? With a bunch of AC-10s, but what is that? LRMs it is. SRMs it is. Got him. Cool. He has a Phoenix Hawk, fighting my Phoenix Hawk. Ooh, and the Griffin as well. Hey, stop it. Don't hit my friend. 
Shot the missiles a bit too early, but maybe we can attract his attention. I think we got it now. Now we turn around and blast that guy. Oh yes, we will. Yeah, Rihanna, I know. I'm, I'm on it. And he's done. The Griffin? Not quite, but almost. Um, and I think go for his legs even further. Got that guy. Ah, Manticore. That's a lot of big tanks. Oh my god. Yeah, the Zukov. It needs to go quickly. Can we even eat all of the damage with our little Atlas here? Poor little guy. Come on. Ah, I wanted to chain fire. I was auto striking. That was on me. Okay, left side is getting damaged. Get wrecked. Good. Ah, so much damage! Ammo low, that's the indicator now. Ooh, five enemies to kill. Phoenix. Uh, yeah, you know what? You go there. You go there and wait, okay? Don't get yourself in trouble. Everybody else on me. I'm gonna just go in here. This is gonna be a nice brawl. And we see uh, Warhammer. That is our first target. Bam! And down he goes. Next up, you, my friend. To the bot. Let's try to stay behind him if we can. But we cannot, so we go for his front. Uh, lost an arm now, but that's all right. What are you? Go away! <laughs> to the face! <laughs> okay, helicopter, blackjack, and then we go. I think we got it. So, Phoenix Hawk is not in a good spot, but um, it's fine. Everything is awesome. SRMs? I mean, do we stick to SRMs? I wanted to go for LRMs, actually. They have a nice support mech. Okay, last few missiles. Come on. There we go. <laughs> that Atlas. <laughs> it smashes things. Oh man, we lost the medium laser on the left arm, but that's alright. Can replace that thing. Is this good? I mean, if it's getting into range, yeah, but... I think it could be better with LRMs, with all the gear that we have, you know? Ooh, 400 rated core. That's a big one, man. See, I don't want to get a charger. Battlemaster is debatable. Good old 85 tonner. There's also a Stalker 3H, and that's a good one. We got four missile hard points, four energy hard points. What else do you need? I mean, seriously, this thing is good. Also, it has the Quirk missile platform and it has the Quirk combat computer. I've never seen that. I want to check this out. We will pick Stalker parts. There's a Warhammer that we could finish. Ooh, good old 3R. Sorry, 6R. I'll pick one part, right? I don't think Thunderbolts are the key here. Hmm, LRM20, tier 3. Interesting. There's a PPC tier 3. And we don't really have the salvage rights anymore. Hmm, that's a good SRM. I think I'll have to pick this. Medium laser tier 4. Hell yeah, let's go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Heavy knuckles, short range, small burst lasers, whatever. Mm, that's gonna be my pick. It's a bit all over the place, but I think it's fine. And, and yes, by the way, the 2,400 damage was not on the Black Knight. It was the thing that we did on the Atlas, okay? Kind of weird that way. But hey, this is a good Atlas. I mean, it is an Atlas in the first place, so yeah. It has to be good. Let's go, Black Knight, repair, Banshee. Uh, 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 uh. There's a thing we wanted to check. Target computer projectile predictive. Let's check it out. Um, uh, repair all. Start work. 24 days. Holy man. Okay, Atlas A. Can we replace your arm? 
We can, without a problem. Nice to see. This guy needs even more cooling. And yes, I have two more double heat sinks that I could slap on the arms, but I don't want them on the arms. Honestly, those arms will probably fall a lot. And as a result, I will lose a lot of value in form of double heat sinks if I lose the arm here. I think ammo-wise, we are just fine. Like, at the edge. On the edge. With the edge. Um, oh, 68 days. Ugh. No! Yeah, we are actually getting into a territory where our repair cost will cost us more than we will get out of the missions, right? Because in 68 days, that's another 500,000 Seabills roundabout. The Hawk is not being repaired. Phoenix Hawk will be. We're gonna get that Banshee up and running with um, chemical lasers. Hmm. That would be a good one. Okay, guys, I think we will still play the contract that we have here. It's an objective raid in a hot zone. And yes, I could take money, but it's not fun. Will I take the Atlas in the first place? Ooh, wait a sec. Um, da -da -da -da. Where, 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 where's my Black Knight? It is a brawler currently. What does it mean? We move behind cover. It has line of sight. Wait, no, that's that's something else. This is ambusher. Um. Oh man. How can I see it? Enter air is not a thing. Brawler. Heavily armored and slower max with mix of ranged weapons. Uh target preference heavy. Focus fire will use vanilla logic and gauge at will. No. Juggernaut. Heavy armed armored max with cloth range weapons designed to push in advance. We need to make him a juggernaut. Juggernauts do not break off if damaged to provide support with other units. Exactly, that's what we need. We need to make him a Juggernaut. Maybe they are just rushing into melee now and actually punch people. Um, Banshee is Sniper, that's alright. Actually, we can make it Brawler. I think Brawler was something like... Uh, slower Max with mix of range weapons, which we have. Focus Fire, sure. Engage at will. Yep, it's gonna be Brawler. Atlas is also Brawler. Phoenix Hawk is Skirmisher, sure. Okay, I think we have this now set correctly uh yeah let's uh deploy and i want to use the atlas in the first place it's my starting mech uh and it is uh, is it it is burnout beautiful it's ready up 67 days man that's so much <laughs> crazy repair times here but it's justified. We are in a conflict zone. It is an atlas that has a lot of armor to be repaired. We've been hired to raid for supplies. We gotta go ahead and paint our mag. That's the thing that we shouldn't sleep on. Alright. Got a bunch of engagements coming up. Is this cold here or is it hot? I mean, it's raining currently, but I see lava. Probably pretty hot. Alrighty, so 1,400 meters. The good news is, um, we will come around a piece of cover. There's a rock formation right in front of us, so we can close in and be in short range combat already. That's good for us. Yeah, in general, I still believe with the Beagle Probe and the enhanced sensors and everything, we want to engage at range with this mech. It is a great long-range missile platform. At the very least, the way we are building it right now. So let's also... Great. Uh, let's also put the Beagle in the mech and then get some LRMs going. Okay, got it. Oh, I actually wanted to test the Banshee, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this out of the way. Yup. Ooh, it's toasty. Okay. So let's let's keep going with the Atlas for the moment. We will check out the Banshee later. Potato. Sure, I like free loot. There's more free loot. Or it could be the raid objective that we see there. Probably that, yeah, most likely. However, um I mean we get ballistics, that's more weapons, that's more ammo that we get for free, which is really nice. Um means we can be very easy on the trigger finger here. God, I love burst fire weapons against flyers. 
Okay. Crush through the base. And then go in. Uh, the thing that I wanted to say is... I forgot. I literally forgot. Yeah, it's fine. So I believe... This is the thing that we are supposed to pick up here, right? Our raid objective. But we will also get ammo from this. Yep. Absolutely. And it was the first objective. Ah, I, I think I, I remember what I wanted to say. Um, we are currently only fighting tanks and VTOLs. Are there any mechs here that we are possibly getting? Break down these walls, Mr. Gorbachev. Mr. Kerensky Chov. Fire. down, alright. Okay, so we got a Scorpion there. And there's also a tank behind us somewhere. But hey, I'm just gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna... Holy crap, Batman. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it to my friends to deal with those guys. There he is. There he was. Alright, more tanks rolling in. The engagement range of those auto cannons, man. It, it's so smart what the scorpions are doing all the time. Staying at their maximum range and shooting me and peppering me with bullets. And I have nothing that I can do against them. Except for shooting them back. Hey, well done, Hunter. Cool. Let's keep going. Right arm is already pretty damaged. Can we hit that guy? Barely. Alright, let's go. Auto Cannon 5. Stupid Scorpion. I hate them. But it's good. It's really good that they are doing the thing that they are doing. Cool, another one. Those LRMs are actually quite helpful in this scenario. It should be the last of them. Uh, it wasn't. Anyway, another one. Let's keep going. Yep. Medium lasers. Harasser. And another score. But we got SRMs. Oh, there we go. Finally. Guys on me. Please follow. Gotta come to me. We have some enemies to kill. Let's drop all into Atlas. Okay. Oop. Nope. Not quite where I wanted to be. Oop. Oh boy, don't kill me. I tried to really hit his face a bunch of times, but I couldn't. And now everything is escalating like crazy. Cool. Get these auto cannons out of here. I need to take down enemies that are uh, easy to take. I know that there's a mech behind me. Got the flyer. There's another one. Take lasers. Cool, that works. AMS, you see? My my missiles are getting destroyed by AMS. Got that. Ooh, AC-20, and I was not taking care of it. Get out of here, Obi. Now. Please. Oh, the heat is on. Don't hit me. That's Brad, man. That's uh, quite insane. Can't do it. I believe in myself. But there's so much going on all of a sudden. It's kind of what I was hoping for. Oh, Irby is down. Perfect. Anything else? Huh? Scorpions, obviously. But I think that's it. Holy crap. Good news is there's an Atlas on the board. There's good salvage. It's exactly what we want. Got him. Um, yeah, I'm shooting LRMs. Uh, and since we are here already, I'd say we're gonna take the next bit and keep rolling. That was a crazy ton of damage. It's insane. Target destroyed, good to hear. So I was going Alpha Strike with my SRMs and uh, just blasted not only the defense, but also the turret behind it. Good. 
All right, guys, on the high ground to the last base, and then we are getting out of here. Such a beautiful atlas. But still, I like what we are doing. It's not optimized, though. It's not what I want to do with this atlas. Uh-huh. Fifteen stream, you say? Getting shot again. Behind us. No, it's Jaeger. I think it was a Jaeger. I... The other problem that I have right now is that with all of these missile trails, I don't see anything anymore. I need to adjust those. I really need to. This is the Hellfire and Brimstone mod. This is just so much smoke. New target, Warhammer. Warhammer? It's not on me yet. Oh, he is now. Really? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. I'm, I'm out of here. No, 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 no. Guys, take him! Ah! Can you please help me out a bit? It would be really nice. Got him. Oh, gee. That shutdown was the worst. The absolute worst. Come on, guys. Shoot your weapons, please. Okay. I, I, I think we got this. Right? Not the scorpion. My center also is garbage. Absolute garbage. And you know what? I believe that there will be another drop coming. After we are picking up the last thing, as a dropship coming, 100%. Which means we should take our enemies out beforehand. Good. We should really do that. Another flyer. Holy crap. Hello. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. There's another tank. Another scorpion. Sure. Sending in the crew. Don't you think that these trench blades are looking so weird? I don't know. Another scorpion. It might also be that they are just bringing in more and more of these guys. Unlimited spawns. Let's get the thing. Good. And another one. Uh, where was the beacon? It's here. Alright. Another tank. God! So many of them. I mean, we're fine. We have orange center torso. This is alright. Here we go. This is Hunter. So much for that. Good. That was a great Rihanna? Showing, Commander. Should we go home now? I'm going. I'm just going. Um, and I don't see any intercepting enemies. That means we will take our friend the Black Knight. And we're gonna... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Out of ammo. Yeah. Okay, let's run. Get out of here. And, uh, yeah, man, th this is insane. We destroyed an atlas. Uh, we got our atlas almost destroyed. But in general, this was a pretty good mission. 117 kph, our evac specialist. Let's get to the Axville. Just don't overheat, okay? I mean, it doesn't matter, really. We can just evac now. Let's go. Ooh, dangerous mission. And... To be honest, rightly so. I think it was a tier 91 mission, and we, be, we were coming in with medium max still. So little damage that we could throw out there. Ah, yes, questions, decisions, we have to make them. Do we want a freaking long term? Yes or no? I think at some point I want one. But right now I'm not taking them because they're just tier 1. I'm gonna take more Atlas parts. 
That's a PPC tier 4 as well. But we only got 3 picks left. Take an SRM6. Pretty decent AMS. But 2 picks. Right. Guess that's what we take. Good. Let's go. So, 1300 damage. 700 coming from the Banshee. Insanely good. And... Our friend, the Black Knight, also dealt uh, 450. This is pretty solid. Wow, crazy. But I wanted to play this Banshee, I said, right? So, what we are doing now... Hmm... Hmm... Yeah, we go to Merak, and then afterwards we go to uh, New Hope later. Right, or we could go for Battlefield. Hell yeah, let's play a Battlefield, everyone. I'll do some Battlefield repairs. Doubles are fine. Oh god. These something days. Lots of money taken away from us. But that's alright. Um, uh, big question. Do we take the Banshee to the battlefield with us? It is currently in an okay state. Is it better than the Phoenix Hawk? With what it has currently. Bunch of mediums. One PPC. Eh? And yeah, I know it's under tonnage. Is it better than the Phoenix Hawk with the SRMs? It certainly has more armor, which is a good thing to have. So what if we drop this, 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 and give it ooh, tier 4 ER large lasers, maybe? I know that the engine core is way too big right now. But that also means we have a rather fast Banshee that can get into the desired range. Large laser short burst. Two of them. And this. I think it might be better than the Phoenix. And I think we need the Tonnage. Certainly. Okay. Let's go. Max armor. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So front is good. Head is good. Uh, sides are good. Arms are a little low. Legs are still a little low. I think this is okay, though. Absolutely. This is going to be our mech. It's weird. And it's probably not cold enough. But that's all we got. That's all we got. Let's start the work. 63 days. Perfect. Alrighty. Banshee online. One thing that we need to do, obviously, is we're gonna paint all of our mechs into the proper black and red color. So, Banshee looking good now. Atlas looking good now. And we will certainly go ahead and play the... Uh, the battlefield. That's what I want to do. Alrighty. Let's see what we can do. Right here. It's an 84 battlefield in a forest biome. Jungle? Biome? Big area. Don't like it too much, but okay. Uh, we get salvage. We get confirm. We get the Phoenix Hawk out of here. We're gonna get the Banshee 2P in here. Still don't know if that's the right choice, but we'll see about it. And, uh, yes, I want to take Blaze, and I want to take the Banshee. So, give me Banshee E. Exactly, and give me Blaze. Blaze here. We're fine? I think we're fine. Let's go. 42 days. Another financial report coming around the corner soon. Whew, okay. Let's see what this targeting computer is doing for us. They're saying that we now have a little reticle that shows us uh, where to lead our shots. And we have two big ballistics that need to aim properly. Let's see. Could be a cool thing to have that overlay. Also, how does it work when you have multiple we weapons with different velocities? How does that work? Is there multiples of these little leading icons? No. Oh. Right now we have, what, one large laser, a bunch of mediums, and two LP-10 auto cannons, Which should be good. But let's test this. Oh, right so the beautiful. The good news is that we can rack up a big salvage payout if we're able to maintain our So position. beautiful. Remember, oh, look at this city in the this. middle of this Come lush environment. Say. It's great. I love it. Okay, and this is my chain fire group. Got it. So, let's uh, check it out. 
There's also some free loot right away. I'll take that. Why not? And there it is. Okay, give me something good. Come on, some tier 5 stuff. It's a high tier mission, so we should get something good. Level 3 LRM5 stream. Well, could have been better. Where are my enemies? Oh, oh, you see the little yellow thing? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, but it doesn't help if they change their movement just like that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is really nice. Nah. There's a building in front of us, it doesn't help. Phoenix Hawk. Come over here, Phoenix. Yeah. Sometimes they change their movement quite erratically. But it's helpful when they are jumping because that's rather predictable movement. <laughs> I like that Banshee. Yeah. I should shoot my auto cannon. It's hot. It's a pretty good targeting computer, I would say. Mm -hmm. So, Desert Scarp. As well as uh, some other things that are coming from the other side of the battlefield. Let's go ahead and engage them, shall we? I wish I had more line of sight. Also, a Zolt Mag, a Cyclops with a Claymore. Level the building and shoot through it? Not quite. Ah, uh, we cannot hit the tank from here. The Cyclops is closing in big time. Hmm, no. Let the Cyclops come to us, huh? There it is. They also bring a Panther. Hey, Panthy. Okay. There's that. But what I want to do more is this here. Hey, 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 dude. Come to me. This battle computer is insanely good. And you know where to hit him. And also... Wow, crazy. Uh, I don't see anything, but you can see that trajectory on your sensors now. That's pretty good. The damage I'm taking? Not so good, I would say. Not at all. Some damage on the panther, and I'm eating more PPCs. Yeah, we need to get out into open terrain. This is not really working for us. The whole combat scenario in the city is just bad. There's the freaking tank. There's one. The other one is behind the building. Cannot destroy it. That is the building. Really? Ah, uh, invisible walls. How I hate it. Okay. We took some damage already. Not the biggest fan of that. Okay. Let's get into a better position. But now that we are here on the other side, I believe our enemies will spawn right behind us and we have to crush through the city again, right? Yeah, that. Uh, Igor, where? Igor here, right in front of us. See them? Same thing. Got him. Got him. Perfect. Got him! So, I saw Orion, very briefly. Let's take a look at these guys. Ryan and another Orion. We got two of them. Okay. A B and a VA. Move around here. Let's use our range. We are basically halfway through the mission. 12 out of 23. But there's still a lot of metal to grind. Mm, okay, we hit him. 
bunch of times. Santa Tulsa doesn't look great anymore for him. Okay, I'm gonna send in my people to the other right. Actually, I'm gonna stay on target. So I believe this radical shows directly to the center of the mech. Yeah, it directly points to their center torso. Uh-huh. It's a pretty cool fire control system. What do you think, guys? Is this worth the money? It is very expensive. And um, it doesn't have the... It only has one spread multiplier. The other one, the ballistic one, had a two spread multiplier. One for, like, spread distance, and the other one distance where the spread actually starts. Jaeger mag and the grasshopper and a light mag behind us as well as a tank. Where? Yeah, what? Jaeger, what are you doing here, huh? Lagging? Okay. Thing is, I think we need to change mag soon because we are currently in a pretty bad spot when it comes to raw damage that we are taking. Mm, careful with the team damage. This is just so massive here. Everything is smoking. I don't even know if I can hit this guy. I can certainly hit this guy. Down he goes, perfect. Uh, yeah, that's my right arm, but you know what? My arms in this make are just shields. I don't really care about them. Okay. Managed to heat just fine. 17 out of 23. This is where we go Atlas. Actually. Additional contacts just cross the perimeter, Commander. Expect Give me a sec. Soon. Um, I want to change again, but I cannot. There we go. Okay. We need weapon groups on those lasers, I guess. Right? Okay, let's go. Big explosion. Pretty good. Short burst large lasers. Who would have thought that they are so good? Ryan, let's check out this Banshee a bit. I mean, I like laser cutter builds for their accuracy. You can really try to trace the head component of your enemies. Maybe get a good chunk of... I mean, if you can see them. Ah, let's go for that. See, something like that is possible. Same on the Orion. They are looking at you like that. You just do... This? Uh, they're bobbing up and down. That's not so good. And yeah, this make up that it needs more cooling for what it wants to do. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. It's fair. But hey, we hit the head. Come on, guys. Take him down. Beautiful. Yeah, we spread the damage quite nicely over all of our units, and I would say it is time to get out of here now. After the tank, that will probably blast us in the face once with all of their SRMs. Uh, oh. Okay, when you go. We're gonna get out of here. Oh. No! Twice even! Twice! But hey, let's get out of here. It was a good mission anyway, and there's a good chunk of stuff that we can take from the battlefield with us. Uh, especially those um, battle master parts. They are very interesting. It's a decent 85 ton mech. Let's check this out. The Eger mech is not really that interesting. The Orion is also eh, debatable. It's debatable. It's a nice mixed mech that you can build. 1.5 mil. 340 rated core. It's very money efficient to get this guy. For only 6 picks you get a lot of value. Ah, yes, there's also a Cyclops. Do we want a 90 tonner? One ballistic, three energy, two missiles, eh, melee specialization, cowl battle computer. What's the battle computer do? I need to read up on all the quirks. Easy to maintain, rugged, command, make melee specialization. Hmm. It's also an energy boat. It has high mounts, so that's the good news. Everything is shoulder mounted. Orion. Ah. Uh. I'm not too happy with those picks. 
These AC-10s are pretty good. Two tier 4 weapons. Very good SRM-4. Medium laser. I think I'm gonna take some tier 4 weapons. Salt claymore. Medium knock... A actually... There's a way to upgrade weapons as well in this game, in this mod now. If you have enough of the same, then you can build the next higher tier. Hmm. I really want those good weapon systems, I think. Those might are those might be really handy. Okay, and for seven picks, we also take the engine. Sure. So no mech parts for me, not here. But uh can take another tier two laser. Pretty good, I would say. Yes, uh, the damage again, it spread all over our max damage output was the next biggest on the on the Atlas. So there's that. It still performs. And yeah, guys, let me know what you think. We want to keep the Atlas short range or we want to build it long range. What do you think of this targeting computer? It's insane. And if you like the video, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you can become a channel member for some exclusive uh, thingies. Uh, check it out down below beneath the video stage. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.